Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go, y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Join the family if you like the food. It's the place to be. You come and have a little fun with your girl, can't see. What's up my connectors and welcome back to the channel. So today we're having some seafood. So I have some shrimp, I have a whole lobster, I have king crab, some cucumbers with balsamic glaze on them. So if you are new to the channel, if you could please hit your subscribe button and your notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to share, like, and leave me a comment. I truly appreciate it. So we're gonna jump right in because it is late. Oh, and I have some more of that dill sauce back here. And the... Uh, Y'all remember the sauce I made with the Trader Joe stuff? It's right here. Right. Mm. Sorry, y'all. <clears throat> mm, that was good. Um. Oh shoot, I ain't gonna drop the, the lemon in there. Mm. That is so good. I'm the only part I don't eat. <laughs> so, hey, y'all. It's going to be a quick little mukbang. One little quick one. Oh, the king crab is good. And that sauce. I don't know what they're doing outside. First, he was racing up and down the street now. Y'all probably can't hear it, but I hear it. Mm-hmm. So, thank y'all so much for watching the last video. I really appreciate it. We just dip everything in. And then the shrimp. So I hope y'all doing well. Happy hump day. Um... What I was about to tell y'all. <clears throat> oh, we were supposed to talk about the Oprah and uh, Michelle Obama. My best friends. <laughs> They're my best friends in my head. Those are powerful ladies. Some of the key points that stood out to me was 
when she talked about using your platform for positive and not negative, because you could easily do negative. And I thought that was so, I thought that was so profound because <clears throat> she asked Oprah, she was like, you had, you had a huge platform and you chose not to use it for negativity. Um, she was like, and you could have easily done that. We probably would have got more money, more views, more, you know. But I just feel like you got to carry all that every day. It's like a heavy weight. And I don't want to carry that after I turn the camera on. I'm like, I want it to be joyful or laughter. Uh, if it can't be that, just no talk at all then. And when she talked about her father and how, you know, he never gave up. And when every time she starts thinking about giving up, she thinks about, you know, him and what he had to go through. And I was like, I think we all got that one person in our lives that may be here or may not be here anymore in the physical sense that makes you want to not give up. And for me, it's definitely my mother, my brother, my grandmother. And um, I would say definitely uh, my father. But yeah, who is that in your life that you think about that may not be here anymore that makes you just be like, no, nah, you know, they went through a lot and still got through it or they were faced with different circumstances and they still powered through. Well, there's so many things in life that makes you want to just be like, you know what? <laughs> I'm about to throw in the towel. I'm sick of this. But yeah, so who's that person for you? It don't even have to be somebody in your family. It could be somebody you just admire. You know? But yeah, let me know. But I mean, it was a lot more than that, but I just thought it was real powerful. And then, uh-oh. Got a bit down on the thing. And then I was talking to my niece today, and my sister and nephew. And they was talking about, that's not a flex, being the smartest person in the room. And I, I had to agree with Jessica because I'm like, I think what it is is you can't be intimidated by other people's success. You know how you just feel like, you know, I'm too small, or I don't do enough, I don't have enough, and I don't need to be here. But you can learn and grow from different people. And I think... You not being the most powerful or smartest person in the room says a lot about you because you aren't intimidated by them. You're willing to learn or open yourself up and bring whatever you got to bring to the table. <clears throat> but a lot of people are intimidated by that. A lot of people have the mentality of, you ever hear, see people say stuff like, um, well, such and such did it first and such and such did it first. Okay, why why are you mad? <laughs> well, such and such did it first. I'm like, my God, you have to really like look at yourself in the mirror if that bothers you. I'm like, you got one great basketball player, you know, Michael Jordan, and then here comes LeBron, and then you you can't let go of the fact that Michael Jordan did it before him, or what's his name, Magic Johnson did it before him, or somebody did it before. It's somebody has done it before everybody. When people be stuck on that, such and such was the first one. Oh my goodness. You can't even argue with nobody like that because you have to look at them and be like, well, what, what, what you did? <laughs> that that make you that upset. God, that lops are good. But to see them come together. And really love on each other and 
empower each other, uplift each other, and really have a genuine relationship. You don't, you don't find that too many, too much these days. And not worry about having to compete with one another. You know, the competition and jealous thing is a, is a beast. And a lot of times, like, you'll see, like, the outside people try to, to, like, divide. I think once you start trying to divide and compare people, you stop the progression of growth. Because you ever seen two people that you'd be like, oh, you know what? If they could just get over their little pettiness and their argument and stuff, they would, them two would be so powerful. You know? Or those two would be so powerful. And a lot of times, the internet and social media causes more divide than anything else with the whole comparison game. Why why everybody just can't be great? <laughs> Let everybody be great. That's like crazy. But yeah, I love to see women like that come together. I really do. Them lobster claws is the bomb. You know what I mean? I had to eat them so fast. Dog. <clears throat> I know y'all don't be wanting to see that part. I don't blame you. But yeah, just a quick little video. I know Sally reminded me uh, that I was supposed to talk about it, but I really, really enjoyed watching them. I know there were so many other points that I could have pointed out on, but we ain't got enough time. Another rant. I got a little rant, y'all. Just a quick one. And maybe y'all could feel what I feel, because I be just like, I'm confused. Let me cut this off. Oh, we ain't finna play with that. But, um, do stuff go missing in your house? Like, certain stuff like, uh, forks or utensils or, what is it? What, what, what I was looking for? Oh, like, uh, washcloths, dish towels. I promise they be walking or somebody eating them. One minute, the drawer so full you can't close it. The next minute, you can't find them. I'm like, who eating them? This towel. <laughs> I gotta go buy some more. I'm out right here eating up the dish towel. Mmm. That's turning off. It's turning off. Ooh, a quick little meal. I think them the main three. It's be missing. Spoons. It was spoons one time. We could not keep a spoon. Then forks. We have always have plenty of butter knives and knives. Well, I'm lying. Not the knives, cause we had a whole set of Cutco knives. Y'all, if y'all y'all don't heard of Cutco before, y'all know they not cheap. Try, you know the little paring knives, the little ones that sit in the front of the little block? We're down to two. 
And Kiana was like, don't look this way. This one, all the kids was here. I'm like, well, what did y'all do with the knife? And to replace the knife, about $100. For one night, right up. <clears throat> I need to find somebody where you could turn your knives in. And then you get a set of something they used to have back in the day. I mean, they still were pretty pricey, even when you did the exchange. But they last a long time. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, so good. Somebody said they couldn't see my food. Oh, it was just laid out today. I'm going to get one more shrimp, and then we're going to go. Because it'll be 10 o'clock before y'all get there. Mm. Oh, that's good with that little spicy stuff on there. I'm Make it up. I know this is a little boy. I'll make it up to y'all tomorrow. But I ate the majority of it and it was bomb. King Graham lost up. Mm -mm. I don't know good. I finished my cucumbers while I'm editing. Now let me know who who that person is in your life that was was in your life or maybe still in your life that every time you feel like you're about to give up, you just be like, no, nah, you know what? <laughs> you think about that person, you're like, they didn't give up. I'm not going to give up. So thank you all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of you. And until the next video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. I love y'all. Bye, y'all.